Next mech room. They're all different. They're all custom. What do we got in here? It's a mess. It's always a mess. So uh, we have a critical loads panel that's been cut in with a nipple in between so we can move probably 16 circuits over to this um, to this critical loads panel. And that will be fed by the Solark. Now you're surprised. See a solar. Well, what's different is we got a used Johnny picked up a used telecom battery. Yay. All different. You found, oh, yeah. We're first thing we had to do is create two bus bars one positive, one negative for this. And there's a lot of cables that are pinched, missing terminals, missing lugs, I should say. And we're missing all the nuts for the bus bars. So there ain't nothing free in this world. Except the cheese in the trap. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. And a 12K EMP Harden going in with a bypass. And this is our longest. This solar is, believe it or not, folks, this solar is sitting at 377 volts. Yes, it's off. And it is right at 900. I'm estimating 900 and... 20 feet. It's over 900 feet away. This is number six that we're going to probably PDB and transition because we can't land six in these terminals. So anyway, you can bring solar from a long way. We have less than 5% voltage drop if you're curious. Um, I don't know what's going on here, but we got some power safes, some North Stars, some power safes, and these all voltage checked out above 12 volts for the most part so we're going for it we did find a couple that were at 1.2 and 0.9 we're not gonna do that so we still have to bring in we got AC wires to bring in overhead this is our solar feed coming down and we got to do an AC feed and then we're gonna come up and over into the critical loads panel all right so this is just this is what happens we don't always show you the how the sausage is made and uh but this is how the sausage is made it's not pretty all right but this is going to work out great don't you worry it'll be beautiful when it's over so we're continuing on with how we make our sausage <laughs> <laughs> this uh johnny let me do the line side taps he kept talking about them. I was like just give me them things so we've got our line side taps here for our ac feed and when you do that remember you must fuse protect them so we got a is that 100 amp that is a that is a uh, 60 amp 60 fuse, amp fuse number six wire but now the maximum amount we're ever going to supply to this panel back feeding is, is 33 3, 3, 3, 3. rms Repeating. So that's from the Solarkey. So we're not, we're not. We're selling back, so we're way, way over protected. We're protecting the wire. We're protecting the wire. So um, that's it. So we had to get through this generator transfer switch and his other 200 amp disconnect. And then our trench goes around the world, about 150 feet to get into the mech room. And, and all this wire is breakered so we can run our wires in here. This was just service yeah. wire off the meter. We, we couldn't do that, but now we can. So these little Ilsco cupola taps are uh, very simple, straightforward. Just get your wire set up and you just keep cranking. And then you check your conductivity and you know that you've got them hot. So uh, we're about called, to fire up the solar. One's called Ilsco asking about them. And they explained everything to you? And they said... I said, how many of them have failed? And they said, none. I said, who'd you make them for? And they said, you guys. For the solar guys. I go, really? 
So those things are awesome. That's right. what this is here. Let me show you a little. Let me show you the grabbers. You've probably seen these before, but if you haven't. The Koopa tap. You see the little teeth on that side? That's for, and they're, the range here on these is four out to number six. So we did bring number six on this side. And we've got, it's like two odd aluminum. Is that four odd? Four odd aluminum. It's four odd on the on the tap. And, and number six. The circuit on this is side. number six. It's a seventy-five amp. So that you just rated. kind of get it around there, and you can see that t tape, and it's got like a Nolox anti-oxidation goo on it. There, it's a very technical term. And it's rated for seventy-five amps. Seventy-five amps through this baby. And what is it? An eleven point. We got 11 kW of solar coming in. What's That's pretty array? impressive. What size is the array? <laughs> 320 times 40. I think that are they 310s or the 320s? 320, 310, 310 times 40, 124. So we got a max of 124. It's late in the day, and we're pulling 11,000 watts from a thousand feet away. Take that! That's awesome. Good job, guys. That's beautiful. 88%. Let's see if we get in a red line. Oh, yeah, a little red line action. <laughs> Love it. All right. Look at the tachometer. Tacos is just rapidly approaching red line. Yes. This is the final installment of making the sausage. This is making the critical loads panel. Right now, we're moving all the down. circuits. We're guessing right now. We've moved half the house into the critical loads panel. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, this was their main that. panel with all their circuits. Mm -hmm. And we've moved what is critical to them in a grid down, yeah, off grid situation. So everything in this panel will run off of the Solark. And Solark is up, solar's running. It's raining outside, so there's not a lot of solar coming in. And the battery's at 100%, as you see. And uh, so this breaker, this load breaker, that runs the critical loads panel. This is a bi-directional feed, um, grid in and sell back. And on this job, we're not using the um, generator or the smart load feature of the inverter. Here's our typical grid bypass. So if there's ever a problem with the system, because these batteries are questionable, in my opinion, not in terms of whether they'll work, but how long they'll last. But uh, this is a decommissioned, recommissioned homemade bus bar. It looks good. For what it was, it looks great. So it's working. It's working. It's working. Yeah, it's going on YouTube. And this is the bypass for the house. So if there's anything wrong with anything in the system, you just throw it in bypass. I better go. That reminds me. I better get my labeler. So... Just finishing up. This was really clean. Somebody clean this mech room up. Last circuit. That'll be nice and balanced. That's the last one. Look at how neat that is. The cable guy is making it really nice. Cable guy. <laughs> cable guy. I'm sorry. Cable guy. He's not doing cable work. He wires it all. Abraham has been now named the cable guy for some reason. We haven't figured that out yet. Oh, because it's pliers. I see. I see. Okay. Let's clean up. Let's get out of here. If you need uh, help putting in a system, whether it's DIY or you want us to come install it and you're within five, six hours of where we reside, we uh, love to talk to you. Send us an email, info at practicalpreppers.com or you can... Uh, PM me on YouTube, Facebook, you name it, LinkedIn, yeah, we're there. The Just uh, if you've got any questions, let me know. Alrighty then. One more system down. Lots of, and this, the cha biggest challenge of this one was the thousand foot ditch. It was really 800, but we actually, how much wire do you think we had left over? Like 10 feet. We had 10 feet left over on, we had four number six spools. We had 10 feet left over of the 1,000 foot. That was awesome. All right. Hope you enjoyed the sausage. <laughs>